In this problem, we have a diagram where a rotation has occurred. And so we have this original figure in gray, and it's gone through a, a rotation of 180 degrees about the origin. Uh, they say it was counterclockwise. I guess it doesn't really matter. The result is going to be the same. Uh, so this went 180 degrees that way. And we ended up with this J prime, K prime, L prime. We've got some questions uh, to answer, a few calculations to do, some measurements to take, uh, and then a question to answer that's got some pretty long-winded answers, and we'll go through this uh, once we're done with our calculations. The first thing they wanted us to do is to take a look at these, what they're calling angles, of J, C, J prime, K, C, K prime, and L, C, L prime. So what that is, it's the original point to the vertex to the rotated point. And they're asking, what degree is this angle? And you might say, well, wait a minute, that looks like a straight line. And actually, a straight line is a type of angle. They call it a straight angle. And it means it's 180 degrees. And what you'll notice is that all of these are straight lines. If this figure had been rotated only 90 degrees, what you would see is a 90 degree angle. So what happens is this that angle from from the original point through the vertex to the uh, rotated point is always going to be the same degree as the rotation itself. So in this case, that's going to be 180 degrees. And then they're asking us to find the measurement of each of these segments of the original point to the to the center of rotation and from the center of rotation to the rotated point. Um, they're telling us actually that those are equal. You probably would have guessed that already. So if we figure out one of them, we've got the other. The distance here, we need to use the distance formula to compute. And remember that's the square root of the difference in the x um, and the difference in the y squared added together. So uh, so x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1 squared, and then we take the square root of that. In this case, the calculations are pretty easy because the center is a point in each one. So when we're figuring out the difference between negative 3 and 0, it's going to be 3. Negative 5 and 0 is going to be 5. So for j, for cj, we've got 3 squared plus 5 squared. And then we'll take the square root of that. So what is that? 9 plus 25, that's 34. So this is the square root of 34. And they just want us to leave it in these exact values. So we have to leave it as a radical. Let's try CK. So K um, is negative uh, 7, negative 7. So that's 7 squared. Well, the square, square root of 7 squared plus 7 squared. So 49 plus 49. So that is the square root of 98. And L is at 8, 1. So that's going to be 8 squared plus 1 squared. So that is the square root of 65. OK. So we've determined that this angle is the same as the angle of rotation. And we've seen that each of the halves of these sort of lines between the point and its uh, image uh, are the same length. So. Let's take a look at, at these questions now. Let me make this a little bit bigger and then move it to the front. There we go. OK. So let me read through one of these. And basically, they're all going to be somewhat the same, just changing one or other of the conditions. This first one says, not all angles formed by a rotation and its image with the vertex at the center of rotation are congruent. And that's what we figured out in this first part. And what we found is that they are congruent. They do equal each other. And in this case, they're all 180 degrees. So it looks like it can't be the first one. So let's go on to the second one. Second one says, all angles formed by a point in its image with the vertex at the center of rotation are congruent. OK, that's what we found in that first part. And then it says, each point on the original figure is the same distance from the center of rotation as its image. And that is saying that this is equal to this, this is equal to this, this is equal to this. That's exactly what we found. So number two is going to be our correct answer. The rest of these are just different co combinations. This one's saying all the angles are congruent, which is true, but not every point, um, it, not 
it doesn't cut these points in half at the uh, at the center. And this one says they're not congruent and they're not cut in half. So that is a little bit of work with understanding the definition of rotation.